Okay, so I'm out here at 10724 East Bay Tree Drive. This is definitely a lot quieter of a street. Um, it's not a cul-de-sac, but it is kind of like um, a U-turn. And the only people who would come back here are people who live back here. So um, just to give you an idea of the neighborhood, it's a lot quieter than the last neighborhood. A lot less... Um, neighbors on the left and the right and previous house um there's also a lot more space in between the houses than previous um much more than the seven and a half feet and then on the other side as well so just so you have an idea of the space this is the rest of the fence for this side and then um there are some flower beds here and then going in, there is a little bit nicer of a layout along with upgrades. So, all right, so we're in the front door and upon entry, it is the living room. It looks like they're still moving out a few things but you can see there is uh, vinyl plank flooring already installed in here, which is a nice feature. It also has a decent neutral paint color in here, as well as um, upgraded fixtures as well. This home is three bedrooms, two baths, uh, 1,172 square feet. It was built in 2001, and it is listed for $120,000. So, you have a uh, tile flooring in the wet areas. This is your dining room with the ceiling fan. It does have laminate countertops, but it does have all of the appliances. So a little bit different than the last one. You have kind of a small pantry here to the side of the refrigerator. And then you have um, a dishwasher as well. And it does look like there is a um, garbage disposal that is functioning here. And so that is the kitchen. One thing I noticed about the lights, it looks like there's energy efficient lighting that takes a little while to come on. So the lighting in the living room is a little bit dim, but that can always be changed. And then down your hallway and to the right, you have your first bathroom. So full bath small vanity but decent shape you have your tub shower combo looks like they upgraded the shower head to rainfall and these tubs and so forth in a little bit better shape than the previous house that's your doorbell box and then this room, they've asked to turn the light, keep the light off because they're repairing the ceiling fan. But this room is fairly small, probably no bigger than 10 by 10 if it is not much bigger. And then you have a reach-in closet there. Um, and then this is your washer and dryer closet. So fairly close to your bedrooms, good amount of storage. And then your utility closet there. And it looks like the thermostat is, is functioning here. So and you have a water, um, water heater closet here. And then this is your second bedroom. And this one is about the same size as the other one, maybe 10 by 10 with a fairly good sized closet there. All right. And then your third bedroom, which is your primary bedroom is again, fairly large, um, probably about 11 or 12 by 15 to 20 feet. It's a bit pretty, pretty big room. Um, and it also comes with an ensuite bath, which is a decent size. Looks like they added a coat of paint. Nice big window. I mean, nice big mirror. Does need some uh, bulbs in there. And then your tub shower combo. 
your ventilation, and then your walk-in closet. Okay. And it does look like similar to the last house that the door outside is in the primary bedroom. So this is the door to go outside. So this is your back patio. And like I showed before, this is a fully fenced in huge backyard. And this is the rear of the house. The room, the second smaller room has a kind of a stained glass window. It's probably just an overlay. It doesn't look like the actual window is stained glass. But the yard is very big. And you're probably wondering, what is this huge building behind the house? So this house also comes with additional storage. It looks like they hand built this. Um, first room is just storage. So extra place to store things lawnmowers junk whatever you might whatever you might need to store and then this nice surprise here could be a man cave or she she shed um it looks like it's already wired for electrical but it is very big very big um it can be whatever you want it to be. And there's a door here. And it looks like it just goes over. Oh, it doesn't, it's not connected, but it is additional storage there. So not 100% sure if this is wired for plumbing, uh, where like maybe a bathroom or something like that could get added. But this is definitely a beneficial space because um, again, electrical is here and it's wide open space. So, this is definitely a bonus for anybody getting this property because this could be whatever you want it to be. All right, so that concludes my video tour. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks.